Studies show a staggering 65% of people's logins have already been compromised without them even knowing, and it's therefore very likely you're one of them. Right now, there's a good chance your information, your accounts, your passwords are all out there waiting to be exploited. The consequences of this can be devastating, especially for small businesses who don't have everything locked down like my clients do. In this video, I'm going to show you the quick one minute check you can do to find out if your logins have actually been compromised and if they have what you can do about it other than panic. Why should you bother? Because businesses like yours risk losing money, time and trust if your logins are exposed. You need to establish that you're running a tight ship and that starts with knowing the damage that's already been done because spoiler alert, ignoring it definitely won't make it go away. It's incredibly straightforward, which is perhaps why I like it so much. Head over to the Have I Been Pwned website. I'll put a link down below in the description. You need to input your email address right into the search box. Now for anyone not fluent in hacker speak, pwned basically means owned. Your account has been compromised. This site tracks data from thousands of breaches worldwide. So if your info has ever been leaked, it's probably listed here and I'll walk you through exactly how to check your logins faster than you can say password one, two, three. I'll do a screen recording demonstration now showing you exactly how it works. Of course, I'm going to use my own email address because I'm a glutton for punishment and I want to show you the reality. Let's hit that pwned button. Right, 18 breaches. If you see a green screen that says good news, no pwnage found, go celebrate. You're okay. But for the rest of us, if you see this red screen, you've got some work to do. The results page provides a timeline of every single breach your email address was found in. This shows exactly which companies have failed to protect your data and when. Let's look at a couple of examples here. First, we've got a well-known one, Trello. It's a massive project management tool. And look here, a huge breach has happened. You probably remember their headlines, or maybe you just ignore them, assuming it didn't affect you. But if you see yourself here, it confirms that your login details were exposed. Now here's the scary part, the ones you don't know about. Scroll down and you might find something obscure like this, the post millennial. I don't ever remember signing up for this website. So how are my credentials listed here? There's a couple of reasons. Maybe I did sign up for this website, but it had a different name at the time when I signed up. More likely, maybe they purchased a database of credentials from a data broker, maybe for a marketing campaign. And that's now how my credentials have been found on this breach. Every result here clearly lists the company that failed you. They made you vulnerable by not locking down their systems. This isn't just about your emails. These breaches often include passwords, usernames, phone numbers and location data. You can click to see the details of each one. Or if you want a simpler way of staying on top of it, there's an even easier option. At Kimberly IT, we monitor our clients email addresses and then receive immediate alerts if any of them have appeared in a data breach. When that happens, we work directly with the affected team member to secure any exposed information before it can be misused. I get it. Getting a you've been hacked alert isn't exactly thrilling, probably scary, but trust me, it's better than finding out the hard way. Setting up these alerts is ridiculously easy and free. And honestly, the absolute minimum you should do to protect yourself online. All you need to do is go to the notify me section on the Have I Been Pwned website, enter your email address and click notify me. You'll then get alerts if your email address ever appears in any future breaches. So you're pwned. Welcome to the club. I'm going to break down what you need to do next. Step one, change the password on the breached site immediately. Even if you don't use that site anymore, someone else is likely going to try to use that stolen login combination on that site and elsewhere. Step two, change that specific password everywhere else you use it. This is critical. If you use fluffy bunny one, two, three for your old forum login, and your main banking login, then your banking details are now compromised because you use the same password. This is a big mistake that 65% of people make. You should never reuse passwords ever. Never use the same password on more than one site. Step three, while you're changing your password to a unique password, make sure you turn on two-step verification. That's the code you sometimes have to enter after you've typed your password in before you can log into an account. It's something that the hackers most likely will not have access to, protecting you if they do know your password. The results from your search on Have I Been Pwned will often tell you if the stolen data includes passwords, usernames, or other sensitive information. If the password was included, that's as bad as it gets. Change it immediately. You might think you're safe because the breach happened ages ago and no one's going to be interested in that anymore. But you'd be wrong. Stolen data sits on the dark web potentially forever. So if you haven't changed your password because it happened a long time ago, those accounts are still vulnerable. 
Hackers don't strike immediately, but while that password hasn't changed, they could attack at any time. So even if the breach happened years ago, you still need to treat it as an emergency. Because if you don't take action, you stand to lose money, time, and your business's credibility. This brings us to the inevitable truth. If you're trying to manage 18 different passwords in your head, you're making it easy for the hackers. You need a password manager. A password manager doesn't just store your passwords. It generates strong, unique ones for every single service you use, ensuring that if one site is compromised, the damage stops there. With our clients at Kimberly IT, we use Bitwarden as part of the setup we manage for them. We get it running, lock it down, and keep it running smoothly so they don't have to worry about it. They can just stay productive. Now, I'm not here to sell you a password manager, but I do need to say this clearly, stay away from LastPass. They have had massive breaches. If you're relying on a service that has proven it cannot secure its own system, you are taking an unnecessary risk. There are safer options available, such as Bitwarden. So don't settle for anything less. Look, humans are gonna make mistakes, but we should learn from them. Because once you move beyond just your own accounts, security isn't personal anymore. If you run a business, whether you're a solo consultant or managing a growing team, a breach doesn't just affect you, it can disrupt your whole team, compromise client data, and put your entire business at risk. Have I Been Pwned offers professional pro tools designed specifically for organizations. I won't demo them here because that's for our clients, but understanding what they do is a crucial bit of knowledge. The most powerful tool Have I Been Pwned offers for businesses is domain search. When you run a business, it's not just enough to check your own email. You need to check everyone's email address tied to your domain or your current staff and your historical accounts. Domain search lets business verify ownership of a domain such as likeandsubscribe.com and then quickly find every single compromised account associated with it. At Kimberly IT, we deploy and manage these domain search features for our clients. It acts as a continuous audit, ensuring that we catch compromised logins before they turn into full-blown security incidents. This is our job to ensure you can focus on business growth while your IT runs smoothly. Understanding and using these tools also sets the standard for the level of IT support you should expect. If your current provider isn't even checking for domain level compromises, you could be exposed without even knowing it. Now, protecting your accounts covers breaches from trusted services, but what about companies whose entire business actually depends on selling your data? I'm talking about data brokers. These are organizations that scrape your information. And yes, I'm talking about everything from your address to your shopping habits, and they package it and sell it. This isn't just annoying, it puts you at high risk for identity theft, fraud, and targeted attacks. Legally in the UK, you have the right to request that these data brokers remove your information, but realistically doing this manually is a nightmare. It means sending individual remove requests to potentially hundreds of different companies one by one. Who has the time for that? Let's be real, absolutely no one. This is where automated data broker removal services like Incogni come in, not sponsored. Incogni, is one example of a service that automatically files and actually manages these removal requests for you. Using Incogni is like taking out preventative insurance against future data leaks. It saves significant time compared to manual removal and time saved is critical for productive teams. I'm not sponsored by them, but I gained access to Incogni through my VPN package and it turns out to be a genuinely useful tool. If you'd like to try it out, I've included a referral link in the description. That link offers a 58% discount on annual plans or 16% off monthly plans. Use it, don't use it. Just make sure you actually address the data broker issue. Seeing you're in 18 breaches like I was, panic is natural, but changing 18 passwords isn't exactly fun. If you're running your business on Google Workspace without expert oversight or juggling DIY IT, IT tools and staff support, there are gaps in your security. At Kimberly IT, we help UK startups, scale-ups and small to mid-sized businesses plug those gaps. Cybersecurity covered, Google Workspace managed, AI integrations done, assistance and support that actually responds in seconds? Absolutely. Start with the free checklist in the description. It shows the exact steps we use to avoid ending up in the hacked 65%. Download it and start protecting yourself today. You've watched this video to get smarter about security. Now take the next step, get the checklist, subscribe for more practical IT tips and stop crossing your fingers.